grassroots, it's ground up, it's anyone can have a say. And so it takes the power away from the established media who, frankly, are in the main, the remainers, and they don't much like uh, Nigel Farage or anyone even to the further right. And so that's why, after Donald Trump used social media so, so effectively in 2016, uh, shortly after that, Google, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all started to crack down on conservative-leaning social media. Uh, they shut down 30,000 Marine Le Pen Facebook pages in France. They shut down Jair Bolsonaro's WhatsApp groups in Brazil. So because traditional media is sympathetic to the parties of the establishment, the incumbents, social media is for the revolutionaries. So just like they did in Tahrir Square, Cairo, they shut down the social media. And in the UK, that means deplatforming Tommy Robinson. In the United States, that means shutting down conservatives. And um, because social media is the place for dissidents.